Good morning, family. It's the Mobile Home Diva. And I forgot to put lotion on my face. In today's video, if you t if you saw my previous video, you know that um, on Friday morning, I went out and did as much shopping as I could. Um, and then I came home and did a haul. Um, well, it's Saturday morning and I'm headed to Sam's to try to find toilet paper. I'm running late. I wanted to be there at 6.30. I, I still may get there probably about 6.35, 6.40. It's 6.10 right now. Um, and I'm headed there. I just didn't want to get up this morning. I hit the snooze and then halfway through the snooze no I hit the snooze and then when I looked up it was 545 I should have got up really at 530 I should have been up I had taken a shower and everything last night all I needed to do was wash my face brush my teeth get some clothes on I just didn't want to get up I don't sleep well um, if those, if you've seen my videos before, you know that my husband works an overnight shift, and when he's working, I just I don't sleep well. So I want to cut this off. Uh, I know you can't see me, so I'll just see you at Sam. So I made it back to Sam's and my mom was already here. She's talking to the Sam's worker and he's saying that they're not going to open at 7. They're going to open at 9. That's the first thing. And it's 626. So then he said he doesn't think they have any toilet paper. All right. We made it to... We made it to Big Lots, you guys. We ought to walk up here and see. Um, we ought to walk up here and see. Now, I see something in the window, but I think it's um, paper towels, which doesn't mean anything. They could have tissue in the back, and it's also a Big Lots truck out here. So let me show you. So that looks like paper towels, but they do have water. And I need to get water too. So I'm gonna wait it out and see. Um, and then over there, that's the big lots truck. So hopefully, any way around it, we'll be able to get two more rolls of toilet paper and um, we'll be good. Oh, let me show you. My mom met me at Sam's. And now she's gone to the other thing. But she had two 12 packs from Big Lots that she went and got me yesterday. So, ah. so even if I don't score, even if I don't score um, toilet paper this morning, um, I think I'm okay. I got 24 rolls from Big Lots and I got I got four 12 packs from Big Lots and then those eight rolls from Eagles. So I think I'm okay. Hi family. Big Lots didn't open until eight o'clock and it was right at seven. 
So me and a friend, she was in the white car that was in the parking lot and I was in my car. We decided to run over to Walmart, which was across the street, to see if they had put any tissue out. This footage is to show you how many people were waiting at Walmart. And I'm sorry I got it sideways, but it'll give you an idea of how many people walked in and what the toilet paper situation was in Walmart. We actually found toilet paper, as you can see, people walking away with it. They had Angel Soft. That's my friend in the gray sweater. Um, they had Angel Soft, and they also had the Walmart brand of, um, you get 16 rolls for $9, a thousand, um, count or something like that, whereas Angel Soft was two fifty. So we put the Angel Soft back and got the, uh, Walmart brand. They only allow one per person. All right, family, things got so hectic at Walmart that, um, it was hard for me to get footage because people were going, but I did get a, um, I don't know if it was a 12 pack or what. It was $9. I know that. Um, and it was a thousand sheet toilet paper. I want to say it was maybe 16 rolls in there. Anyway, I got two packs from Big Lots from my mom from that she got yesterday. And I got the big pack. I'll show it out to you when I get home from Walmart. They opened at 7, so we went over there. And now I'm back sitting um, in Big Lots parking lot, waiting on Big Lots to open at 8. Whether or not they have tissue in here, I'm going to leave here and go to Sam's. My mom is at Sam's. They don't open till 9, so I'll go over there with her. I got to make sure that um, we have a case and a half of water left, so... In addition to toilet paper, I'll, I'll get a couple of cases of water. Now, that's it. That's all I need. So, um, it's raining, uh, as you can see from my window. And um, that's where we are. All right, family, I just left Big Lots. Um, they didn't have any more toilet paper. I did go ahead and get an eight pack of paper towels. We have about five paper towels left, but I just went ahead and got them. I got two cases of water and I was able to trade out um, the steak that I needed to trade out. So that was a good thing. Um, I'm headed back toward the house. My mom is at one Sam's. I'm gonna go back to the Sam's we were at this morning. They said they didn't have any toilet paper, but just in case a truck came, I'm gonna go and check them out. I'm also gonna see if they have um, any spring water there. If they do, I'll get two more cases of spring water if they don't have toilet paper. But those are the only two things that I'm looking for at this point, the toilet paper and the spring water. And once I get, even if they don't have toilet paper, even if they don't have spring water, I'm really good. I'll get it just in case to have extra. But I'm good until, I think we're good for maybe two weeks. So that's all I want. I don't want to um, overcrowd the house with anything. And I definitely, um, I don't want to hoard. I just want to make sure that we don't, we have the things that we need. So that's where I'm at. I probably won't um, do another video like this. Um, YouTube is swamped with people out shopping and you know, I just don't want to shine a light on, I don't want to add to the panic. I know I had one small spell uh, and, and that honestly, not really, it was really about the energy in the air it was like everybody's in a world of panic they looking at you crazy if you sneeze or cough or clear your throat and you know with allergies it had me feeling weird but i'm not really in a panic what's going to be my feeling is what is going to be it's going to be i'm, I'm 47 years old i'm in fairly good shape um for my age um, and I, I'm okay. I feel really okay with with where I'm at. Even if I get sick, I have all the faith in the world that I can come through it. I feel okay. So, I'm just going to take measures to
to protect myself and my family. Social distancing is really important. Um, today, um, washing your hands, sanitizing often is really important. When you're out and about, having your mask and your gloves is really important. And I'm just gonna continue taking those measures, staying my distance from people when I am out in public, um, cooking at home instead of eating out, going through those drive-throughs. I feel that those drive-throughs are the worst place in the world to get something to eat from because they're in a position where they come in contact with every single person that is out and about. And they just, their hand just got sneezed on. They half wipe it off. They grab your food and then they hand it to you. You grab your bag from them and randomly touch your face because it itched a little bit. And then you picked up something and you didn't really even get it from the person at the window. You got it from the last five people that were at the window with that person. They're carrying, they're carrying whatever it is that has come through their window. And so got to be really careful. Eating at home is important. And then the amount of news that we watch is important too. We cannot sit, it's not healthy to sit and constantly watch all of these findings over and over and over and over again. It gives us, it fills us with panic. We should be informed, but we don't want to be overly concerned. Whatever's happened is, is going to be. I believe in the Bible. I believe what it says there at Luke 21 11. One of the signs of the end of this system of things is pestilence. If you take the word pestilence and put it in a thesaurus, pand pandemic is one of the um, more common words for pestilence. And so we know that we live in perilous times. We know that all of the things that are going on, they, while as devastating as they may be, the Bible shows us that those things must happen in order for this us to be rid of this system. And so we just gotta stand firm in our faith. We have to trust in God. Um, I serve a very loving and powerful God whose name is Jehovah and I'm truly grateful um, that I know the Bible that I trust in his word and I'm trusting him and so my, me and my family we're going to keep serving them we're going to keep trusting in them we're going to keep doing whatever it is that we have to do to stay safe as we wait out the end of these times so I encourage everyone to do the same. I'm sorry I'm not looking at you, but I hope you're feeling what I'm saying and knowing that it's coming from my heart. There's a lot of traffic on this road. I'm getting ready to pull up at, at Sam's. And th this line, oh no, I'm sorry. I can go around them. There's, there, oh, look at the light. Y'all got I'm not finna get in that. Did you see that? Y'all, I'm finna go home. I'm not finna get in that. My mama is at the other Sam. She's number four in line. I'm not finna do that. Mm-mm. I'm not finna do that. I see y'all at the house.
way out to the street.